We are going to learn El futuro perfecto, Spanish grammar tense. These tense work in a very similar way than the present perfect. Firstly, you have the verb haber, in this case in future, and after you have to put the main verb of the action, finishing in ado or ido, depending if it finishes in ar, will be ado, and if the verb finishes in er or ir, you'll have to swap that for ido. So if you want to say, I will have worked, you'll say, yo habré trabajado. Yo habré trabajado. You will have worked to one person in a friendly way is Tú habrás trabajado. Tú habrás trabajado. You will have worked to one person in a formal way is Usted habrá trabajado. Usted habrá trabajado. He or she will have worked is Él o ella habrá trabajado. Él o ella habrá trabajado. We will have worked is Nosotros habremos trabajado. Nosotros habremos trabajado. You will have worked to a group of people in a friendly way is Vosotros habréis trabajado. Vosotros habréis trabajado. You will have worked to a group of people but in a formal way is Ustedes habrán trabajado. Ustedes habrán trabajado. And they will have worked is Ellos habrán trabajado. Ellos habrán trabajado. If you want to make a negative sentence, for example, if you want to say I won't have worked, you just have to put a no before the verb. You'll say yo no habré trabajado. Yo no habré trabajado. Unlike with any other tense, you don't have to put yo, tú, él, etc. every time. Just use it when you want to emphasize who does the action.